today we are gonna do this uh, try hack me room challenge snapped fishing in line first of all we have to connect to the server with the open vpn let's deploy our machine before we move on we have to check if our server is running or not for that we have to use ping i'm gonna ping the ip address okay it's running now let's see connecting to the machine We're gonna use show split view and with the new open link in new tab. So the instruction is here analyzing the email samples provided by your colleagues, analyzing the phishing URLs by browsing it using Firefox. I guess there will be some emails looks like fish emails and the first question is who is the individual who received an email attachment containing a PDF so we have to look a email that contains a PDF uh, we have to check through all of them Let's see the first one. Okay, the first email contains HTML attachment. This is not the one you are looking for. Let's move on. Same for the next guy. This one also. okay this email contains a pdf this one who is the individual who received an email okay so the individual name is william mclean this is the first answer now second one says what email address was used by the adversary to send the phishing emails the email came from accounts.payable the uh, editor of group market well, so i think this is the one we're looking for the next one says what is the redirection url to the phishing page for the individual joe duncan so let's open the email who received the joe duncan so this is the one and this is what is the redirection email to the phishing page the phishing page is the attachment here we have to open it open with other we're gonna open this with text editor So when we open this page it's going to redirect to this uh, url so this is the url we are looking for here uh, we have to defang it let's check the hint use cyber shape we are going to use cyber shape to defang the url the next one says what is the url to the dot zip archive of the fishing kit 
int enumerated the URL parts. Okay. We have to find the phishing kit first. Um, let's check the URL what is in there. We've got two files. So the dot zip archive file, I think this is the one we're looking for update three six five dot zip. What does it say? What is the URL? Okay, let's we are gonna copy this URL. Copy link. We have to defang it also. Okay. Now we have downloaded the archive file here. Where was it? We have to make uh, find the SHA two fifty six hash of the file. Okay, this is the file we are looking for. SHA. 256 sum and the file name this is the hash of the phishing kit archive now it says when was the phishing kit archive first submitted so it basically telling us that when uh, the phishing kit was landed in the website we have to check through the history of the website before let's check the hint use an open source tool similar to threadbook or URL scan gather more information about the domain we have to check the domain okay, let's use the threadbook there is other one which is called virus total it's very fair important for checking the domain or malicious web file okay. let's copy this domain link When was the first kit first submitted? I guess this is the one we're looking for. Is it? And you can see. Nope, this is not the one. Okay, let's see here. Details. Oh, I think this is the one. Nope. Fishing kit archive. Uh, let's use this hash you can check the hash in virus total this is the phishing kit the hash okay we got the first submission here this is the one we're looking for yep so next one is when was the phishing key uh, phishing domain that was used to host the phishing kit archive first registered Is this is the one yep. so we look for the website and it says the registration date from the who is web server what was the email address of the user who submitted their password twice okay, let's go to the directory here update 365 there's a log file here we're gonna check the log file we have to check through all of them ok 
Okay, Michael has got one. Michael has got two. So, I guess this email is submitted twice. What was the email address used by the adversary to collect compromised credentials? Examine the phishing kit. Okay. The phishing kit. Yeah, we have to go to the phishing kit. That's a extract. We we'll go to the update, maybe no, not update source script up validation. Okay, there's a submit PHP. Let's open this. This is the email we are looking for. This email is by using this email the adversary collect all the credentials. The adversary used other email address in the obtained phishing kit. What is the email address that ends in enter to gmail.com? Okay. There's a lot of file here. We have to check through all of them, but can be smart. We're gonna use graph here. So it's gonna check all of them for us. Okay, I found the one. What is the hidden flag? This flag contains a .txt extension with some adjustment should be downloadable from the phishing URL. Look for the flag in every subdomain directory of the phishing URL. basically we have to found the txt file from the phishing url you can enumerate with the gobuster but i know the right one it's if we click here it's gonna say 404 not found flag dot txt so this is our flag now it's look like it's already encoded we have to decode it and it seems like base something it's always base 64 or base 62 looks like it's from base 64 now it's look like we have the flag but it's in reverse format now we have to reverse it this is the our uh, this is our flag here so we did it the snapped fishing line i hope it helps everyone thank you